We need two more hooks. I think he's got several. We're going to hang life jackets down here. We're going to make a life jacket station to where people floating the river, if they do not have a life preserver available, they're able to get one. This is in memory of a man who had drowned here in Idaho two years ago. I th thought, what can we do to bring awareness to this? And I thought, well, I'll put a message in a bottle. And then it's like, hmm, no, can't do that. <laughs> Environmentally, I can't do that. So I thought, let's do something that could impact a lot of people, not just for the family, but for anybody potentially. And so I said, let's see if we can get a life jacket station going. We just started asking for life jacket donations. And then I bought the rest of what I got on Amazon. So we will have a life jacket station here and one in town for when they're needed and we'll just check them periodically. I'm in contact with all of his family, his sisters and his mother back in Graceland, Louisiana. And um, this is really important to them. His mother wrote a post and she said to God that she was sending a kiss to her son and that he wanted God to give him the kiss. So I'd like to write on a balloon a kiss from your son. This is, um, I think, helping maybe to bring some closure. Hopefully we just don't lose anybody else. And I hope people take the initiative to, to use these. Though Everett may no longer be with us in body, his spirit will forever echo in our hearts, reminding us to cherish each and every moment. To a life well lived, the loss is immeasurable, but so is the love left behind. When someone you love becomes a memory, that memory becomes a treasure. If we even just save one life, this will make this all well worth it.